Earth in 2064 is politically corrupt and in economic decline. The Long Depression has dragged on for 56 years, and the Bureau of Sustainable Research is making sure that no new technologies disrupt the planned economy. Ten years ago, a band of malcontents, dreamers, and libertarian radicals equipped obsolete seagoing cargo ships with a privately developed anti-gravity drive and flew them to the moon. There, using tunnel boring machines and earth moving equipment, they've built their own retreat. If Ayn Rand's Galt's Gulch had American capitalists, Mexican hydroponic farmers, and Vietnamese spacesuit mechanics, and was located in the underground tunnels of a lunar border town, you'd have something like the city of Aristalis. There's a problem though. The economic decline of Earth under a command and control economy is causing trouble for the political elites in Washington and elsewhere. To shore up their positions, they need to slap down the lunar expats and seize the gold they're mining. This is that story. Hi, I'm Travis Corcoran. I grew up with classic science fiction in the 70s and 80s. Heinlein, Niven, Cornell, Werner Bingy, Neil Stevenson, and I miss those kinds of books. I like well-written, fast-paced science fiction, but books packed with ideas. I like stories where the heroes are intelligent and competent and use their hard work and drive to fight for their freedom. So I decided to write that kind of story. The Aristillus series is a pair of science fiction novels about lunar colonization, libertarianism, economics, genetically modified dogs, AI, and really, really big guns. If you love Heinlein's The Moon is a Harsh Mistress, Niven's Known Space series, or pretty much anything by Neil Stevenson or Werner Vinge, I think you'll love these novels. There are zero gravity gunfights and rusted ocean-going vessels flying through space, containers full of bulldozers hurtling through the void, nuclear explosions, guerrilla warfare in urban environments, and vast armies of tele-operated combat UAVs. Pledge and see how the story ends. by number three or four I can develop some enthusiasm and not be a robot. Your hair is alive though. It keeps... <laughs> <laughs> it's my best feature. My sweaty <laughs> spastic hair. <laughs> oh, one part of me has an emotion. <laughs> oh, introverts trying to do video. Sad TV show. Ah, right. So, I've got three kinetic energy weapons falling from the moon. What are my three targets? Um, Cambridge, Massachusetts, and Washington, D.C. twice. 